I believe the difference between a robotic application in industrial automation and one in the field of medicine is that in industrial automation the workpiece and the tool are clearly defined and the robot knows what to expect. In the medical application we're naturally dealing with highly sensitive tasks but above all with very different parameters. The robot must be able to adapt flexibly and to acquire the necessary information, such as data from imaging processes, in order to be able to ensure the precision required in such applications. The relation from Coca to the healthcare is already 16 years old. In the year 2000, we started already our collaboration with a partner in the US. So already 16 years ago, we launched our first product. Changing age demographics certainly impact medical personnel, but they impact patients even more. Furthermore, other changes, such as the elimination of alternative civilian service jobs in different countries, mean that we're no longer able to tap a large potential reserve of nursing staff. As such, we need to make a major effort to maintain today's high-quality standards in medical care into the future. And one obvious approach is to use robotics and automation technology. The role of the robots within the healthcare or medical robotic markets is huge. So we just got the figures and the estimations from the International Federation of Robotic. So they will see within the next three years the market going up to 7 billion US dollars. So this opens also for KUKA a wide range of application and shows us that we are really here working on the right things. The role of automation and robotic in the healthcare industry will have a bright future because it is new for the industry and it is very helpful for the people. So for, for doctors, for hospitals, also for the client's needs, for the customer needs, for the needs for older people, it will be very helpful to have a sensitive, very clear working product to help you in your normal life. In Mannheim, our focus is on automation in the operating room. That's our primary task and it's a multifaceted one. It's all about digitizing data streams and trying out new processes. One of the major changes is undoubtedly that process improvement will play a much larger role in the future than individual applications. For example, sticking a needle into a patient is a single function, but taken together, the preparation, the positioning of the patient and the automatic evaluation of results is a process. The new robot for us, for the KUKA, is first time, so I call it the second revolution for, for KUKA in the field of medical robotics. It's our lightweight robot medical. So this is really the first standard industrial robot where KUKA got the certification for the field of medical robotics. And so we have a, like a multi-purpose tool for all the medical products. The LBR Me is a safe, flexible and sensitive seven-axis robot that has been specially developed for the medical market. Technically, it's a robotic component for integration into a medical product. With its dual-channel joint torque sensors, the LBR Mead can safely detect forces and react accordingly. In addition to collision detection or targeted force regulation, this technology can also be used for manual guidance. That makes the LBR Mead unique. At KUKA, we aim to offer our customers simple, fast and safe integration of robots into their medical applications. For this reason, we've provided a technical solution to ensure that the requirements for mechanical and electrical safety, as well as single fault safety, are met and supply the LBR with a CB test report in accordance with IEC 6060 1-1. Newest product in the healthcare industry, the LBR Meat, was tested by the VDE Institute regarding safety but also regarding software. So it is a complete product now on, on the market, and VDE develops together with KUKA this brand new product for the help of the people in the healthcare industry. And the situation is like that of so many technological achievements. Someone once invented the automatic weaving loom, and the result is that you can now buy clothing for 20 cents that is manufactured by the ton. 
there are now more people working in the clothing industry than ever worked operating weaving looms. That may be a slightly different example, but technological developments of this kind do not automatically mean that fewer workers are required. Yes, looking ahead, I would assume that we're now on the threshold of a new era in which a wide range of applications will open up for robotics in the field of medicine. Orange Intelligence.